I must cleanse my palate now. Greetings and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira, and we're here to try out the birthday cake Benton's. Birthday cake cream Benton. Cream filled cookies by Benton's, the, the birthday cake version of the Oreo one. I was able to get my hands on some Oreos, so it made perfect sense that we get together again and I do a comparison video. What do you think? I agree. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to throw you I'll throw up the palette here just so you guys can check it out. These are the colors that I have. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I'll give you a nice little overhead. We'll all giggle like small children. I always want to say schoolgirls, and then I feel bad because... I feel like that's a stereotype and I shouldn't be um, I shouldn't be encouraging stereotypes. So here we go from left to right, right to left, <laughs> my right to your left, your left to my right. This is pavement. I love pavement. It's almost a black, but it's not quite. It's got a charcoalness to it, and I think it's going to go really well on top of this little feller. I'm not going to go through all of these right now, but this is the green one I'm talking about. I don't know where it's going to go, but somewhere I will use this green on here, and it's going to make sense. Okay, let's get to this review. Let's try these out. Now, do we start with the original? No, I think we go with... Do I look a few inches shorter? It's because I am. I was trying to get myself in the frame because... Let's start with the Bentons. The Bentons have never been super impressive. All I will say, in our last review of the Bentons, the uh, churros were pretty super fantastic. I dug them a lot. 7.5 I gave them. I don't know how I remember that. It's been like weeks since I did that. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side smell test for starters. I've never done this before. Usually I dig right in. Oh, these fucking Bentons. These goddamn pieces of shit. Fuck you, Benton. You just lost a point. You know what? Your last score was a 7.5. Now you're a seven. Yeah. Fuck your churro cookies. Fuck your churro cookies and fuck your Benton packaging. Fix your packaging. Do a little Oreo. Here. You know what? You lose. Eh, doesn't smell great. Smells like Oreos. Same thing here. They smell the same, pretty much. Well, let's take a look at them side by side. I can tell you right now, the Oreo is a far more attractive cookie. Like, this one... I'm getting like, it's first of all, it's yellow. It looks like it's been sitting out for a few days. Um, this is crystal clear. What? Not that, not that it has to be perfectly white. Don't get me wrong, folks. It doesn't matter what color your Oreo is. Don't judge your Oreo by its color. That's my public service announcement for today. But let's take a look. In all honesty, it looks like, okay, shit cream. Fuck your shit cream, Bentons. I mean, it wasn't terrible in the last one, but what happens is, all right, you know what? Just so you guys don't call me out on it, I'll be using a new one just to make sure that when I dunk it in the milk, it stays together. Now let's take a look at the Oreo. Okay, so that didn't come apart very, very great either. However, look at that. Look at the difference. Where's the old one? Jesus Christ. So look at that. There's a major difference. All right, see, it's hard for you guys to tell on this camera. I don't know if you can tell on that camera. I don't know how to make you tell. I'll try to do it in post. Anywho, these are very yellow, and this is just pure white, and you can just see, like, all the little confetti pieces in it. It's not real confetti pieces, obviously. All right, let's start with the Bentons. Hmm. It's actually quite delicious. Something's going on. Not Pop Rocky, but it reminds me of Pop Rocks when I'm biting into them in here. I gotta try another bite. I think I might have gotten a bum batch of Bentons, because these cookies are not bad. They're not great. I mean, the quality is definitely... It's no Oreo. But... I remember it being worse than it is now. It's not bad. It, it would do in a pinch, you know, if you don't want to spend three, four dollars on Oreos and you want to spend a dollar on Bentons. I think they are, I don't know, they're, they're cheap. All right, let's try the Oreo. Much more cream. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'd say they have a similar amount of cream, but this one, like, because the cream's consistency is different, when I try to break this in half, it all squished out the sides, which is okay. It's fine. 
I don't love it, but it's not going to lose any points over it. You know, I got to say, I think I like the Bentons better. I'm going to try it in milk. Check out the dunk cam while I dunk it in milk. Let us dunk our cookies in some milk, in some milk. See, that's what I'm talking about. That time it didn't come apart. That's a fresh cookie. So it seems like I can break them in half, but if I take a, I don't know. I don't know what makes them fall apart. Nor, yeah, see, a little bit of pressure and boom, that cookie's coming apart. All right. Mm, too much dunking mud in my mouth. Mm. Do over. Oh, mm. I, 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 for the sake of science, I have to do a do over. I'm gonna do it less. Let's dunk our cookie in some milk. Milk does not do that cookie any flavors. Dry. This was way better than the Oreo. Significantly better. The flavor, not quality, the flavor. Let's dunk some Oreo. God damn it. This is too much. I don't eat a lot of sugar these days. So for me to eat all these Oreos is not good. See, I can squeeze this and nothing's happening. It's not coming apart. The cream is keeping it together. K-I-T, keep it together. That's my name. Bowfinger. You should watch it. Well, the Oreo stood up better in milk. It didn't really improve the flavor, though. I don't know if I've ever... I know I've scored these. I, I can't remember. This is... I mean, this is probably six, seven years ago I scored these. I'm assuming I gave them about a... Probably about a five. They're just average. I mean, maybe even a 4.5. They're not great. They're just okay. These, on the other hand, dry, have an absolutely amazing flavor. I would give these a 6.5. They definitely taste better. Even though they're not as great in milk, they're really good dry. So in this case, in this very rare case, the Bentons have just defeated the Oreos. The Bentons defeat Nabisco. Who would have thought, huh? But that's just my opinion. You know, you guys should check that out for yourself if you love eating cookies as much as I love eating cookies. And if you love watching these as much as I'm loving making them, well then, my friend, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting that little bell icon. You know what it'll do? It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the podcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Till next time. Ha, 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 ha.